You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Well, they hopped off the plane at LEX. Keep seeing the next line. Just kidding. The national champs <laughs> flew into Lexington on Sunday afternoon where they were greeted by several loyal members of Big Blue Nation. Gabby Curry had the honor of carrying the trophy off the plane. And don't worry, it was safe <laughs> and secure on the ride from Omaha to the Bluegrass. Welcome back to BBN tonight. Once the team did arrive in town, they went straight to Memorial Coliseum where even more members of Big Blue Nation were waiting. Yeah, here's a look at the welcome home party. When I left Nebraska in 2004, Megan and I decided to come to Kentucky and there was a couple dreams. The first dream was to build a program like the one we just left and win national championships. To do that, the first thing I wanted our players to do was play in such a way that people would run out of the stands and want to join us. And I feel like now there's going to be people running all over the Commonwealth to come watch us play and I cannot wait. I remember coming in as freshmen in our class we were talking about how we wanted to make history and we wanted to win championships. And I, I think people were like, oh, that's cute. I mean, you don't really get it, but that's cute. You know, we like to have people who are motivated in our program and that's awesome. But we're here and we did that. And I am so proud of us. Craig pulled the seniors together. Um, I think the first day we got, or maybe the second day we got back in the summer. One of the, the top questions is what do you guys want to be known for? Uh, and I actually heard it from Deshaun Watson uh, when they won the national championship. He said he wanted to be legendary. And I was thinking, what a better way? So we threw it out there, and um, it's been on our board in our team room ever since. Before we left, I, I just eyed it, and I was like, wow, you know, that's, that's what we're striving for. That's who we are. Um, and obviously, we have proved that. So legendary this year. Legendary. When you're coming to a program like Kentucky, the, the goal is to to win the Big Daddy Trophy. The sport at Kentucky here has gone through the roof. The sport in general is gonna blow through the ozone layer. I promise you, this sport is on a, on a fast track to, to, I don't even know what the word is, but it's gonna happen. I love you guys. Go Cats, go Lexington, go Kentucky, let's go. <laughs> We're obviously both ready to play. At least we have the hair ready. The we'll work on hair, the right? skills yes. later. Yeah. But we were both there. It was such a fun atmosphere. I couldn't wipe the smile off my face, and I kept getting goosebumps. And to see just the crowd of BBN and for yeah. the team to feel that support was unbelievable. Yeah. And after the event, head coach Craig Skinner and a few of the key players stuck around and talked exclusively with BBN tonight. Take a look. These are the moments that make all of it worth it all of it worth it. The, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the extra hours, I mean, the grind this year especially, it's all worth it in moments like this. And um, the support that we felt, even being in Omaha so many miles away, was immense, but walking in here and, and having that embrace with the people that really have the bigger impact on, like they have such a big impact on us. And I don't even think that BBN knows that, but they do. And to be able to feel that and walk in and just share those moments, and it, it means everything. It's amazing. I mean, we're not surprised how the BBN showed out. They have been so amazing throughout all of my four years. And I really didn't understand it until I got here, just how great everyone was. And they support us through everything, and it really means so much. It's so surreal. I mean, we've worked so hard and for so long for this moment, and we've talked about it so often. We talk about this every day. We've talked about it in practice, like, we're going to be in the national championship. Madison called it our trophy in an interview, like, a couple days ago. So it's just... It's so amazing to see all this coming in fruition. It's unbelievable. It's hard to describe. It's surreal. Um, you know, I seriously dreamt about this, you know, coming to Kentucky from a program that had won national championships. I just wanted our players and alumni to feel what it's like to do that. And, you know, to cap it off with our fans, loyal fans being here to see us home is incredible. We have three first team All-Americans, National Player of the Year, but our freshman middle balled. Our Maddie Skinner balled. Raya Walker got in there and won the game for us on that ace. I mean, that was a turning point and every, like this is such a team. We love each other so much and it really, there's no selfishness. Craig always talks about how you're only as good as the person next to you and that's really what we stand for. He has put that in, into the culture and just completely embedded that into what we do every single day and the culture here is special. It is so hard to get to that match. It's, it, it is, it's almost impossible to get to that match. I mean, how few programs actually play in the national championship match. So I just continue to try and convince our players and staff that we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. And you know, all the effort and time and hours paid off. You know, maybe in a couple weeks and I have time to really think about all that we went through from August 4th to April 25th to put in perspective, but uh, yeah, what a challenge.
it's going to be weird watching from the stands again. I mean, I feel like I, in high school I was watching in the stands, but I still kind of felt like I was a part of it. And it's going to be weird being an alumni, but um, they're going to take care of it. I think if anyone doubted us, they're not down us anymore. They definitely know we will be back, and we know what it takes now. We know what we're going to have to do, and I'm excited for it. You know, I've already sent some text messages to some some coaches of recruits that we possibly, you know, will be recruiting, so uh, it never stops. What's next? I'm looking to still play. Um, things aren't really confirmed yet, but I mean, things will be coming out soon. So, yeah. Is there a chance you can come back here? It's, it's really not all ironed out yet, <laughs> but it'll be announced soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> Now, there is no mistaking the Big Blue pride across Lexington and on campus today. The lighting at the Willie T. Young Library has gone blue to celebrate the championship. And then one of the UK parking garages oh, nice. was also rebranded with the banner. Ali Stumler was back in class today. Go girl. She was greeted <laughs> with some signs. And if you want to show your support, official championship gear is available at UKTeamShop.com. I've already got mine. Wait, did she already? Did she have her hair down? Yeah. Uh. Surprise. No, man, keep that. That's okay, your still looks right. good. <laughs> In our next segment on Vivian tonight, we'll turn to Kentucky's dance team. Craig Skinner's not gonna like this. All right, <laughs> we'll talk with some of the teams. They get ready for their national competition. Stay with us.